Good morning guys. So this is where we camped last night. There's Nessie there. We've got trees hiding us from the main road and we just came in on this wee grassy path down here and which also leads all the way around and joins back up to the main road again. But perfect place to spend the first night. It's well hidden, nobody could see us. We've also got just a wee canal just down here. Um, we've had a wee walk just up and down there this morning, see if we could get in for a swim, but there is nowhere. See if Nala wants to come out now. It's raining just now. Um, so she probably won't come out. You come in. Come on. There you come. Good girl. Big jump. Good girl. It was raining quite heavy last night, so I the water is getting in at these bits here. Over the top, so they are interfering with the seal. So our plan this morning, I'm going to drive along, I'm going to see if we can get in for a nice wee swim um, at the canal just along here, and then we're going to have a drive and find a decathlon, because I've seen a bike rack that attaches to the ball hitch here. So I we're going to go and get one of them and get a cover for the bike as well, because mine's back home, got a big hole in it. So aye, let's have a drive along, see if we can find a place to swim. Here we go, found this wee bit here. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this, like, it's absolutely freezing just now, so the water's going to be even colder, just totally wakes you up. Anyway, let's get in. Absolutely freezing. Oh, woohoo! That's enough for one day. Oh, jeez, that's wet. Let's go and get dry. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. perfect. Ah. And I had to park at a big muddy puddle, so I'm just going to get muddy feet going in. Great. Oh. Ah. My feet are cold, but watch this, I've got my very own little hot water bottle. Come on, girl. Work your magic. You gonna fall down? Oh, yes. Yeah, you gonna warm me up? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You happy? You happy? Oh. Good girl. Right, guys, once I get warm, well, mostly warm. We're going to drive. I think it's an hour drive. We're going to go to Decathlon and we're going to buy some more stuff. We we'll obviously need the bike rack. I'm going to buy some warmer trousers and I'm going to cave in and buy some socks. I never normally wear socks, but my toes are absolutely freezing. So warm up and then let's head. Let's go. Right, you have that. Right, guys, that's us just at the Cathlon. I'm just going to nip in, get the bike rack and a few other things. Now, I'm just going to stay here. The car's all locked up, so she's just going to have her lunch. So, I'll right, see you when I'm back. Right, this is what we're looking for here. Trek hook. I think that's it right there. Have a wee peek. Aye, we'll get it, take it outside, give it a go. We've also got a rain cover as well, got some socks, an extra fleece, and just going to get some gloves, and then that's us done in here. So let's go and pay and head back out to Nala. Here we go, done our shopping at the Cathlon, so we're just going to head outside the city and find a nice place to camp up for the night and show you our stuff. Also get the bike rack changed over. I don't know, you're staying over there while we're in the city, please girl. And yeah, so we've got about a 25 minute drive to the place where we're going and we'll speak to you then. Right, so this is our camping spot tonight. We've just drove underneath these barriers here and we're going to park here. I'm not too sure what this bit's for, but probably for boats getting unloaded. Anyway, if a boat comes, we'll move. But it's also a very quiet road, which means 
you'll be fine coming out. Row. Yes. Mm. Aye, so probably a place to camp the night. Nice wee bit for now to have a run about. She'll probably just play in the long grass here and then come back to the van when she's ready. The reeds down there, she'll probably be in there chasing mice. So aye, we're just going to get set up here, guys, and then we'll speak to you after. Oh, so here's our, so here's our new bike rack we'll go try and get on just before it gets dark. So first things first, we need to take off my bike. The one thing I'm not sure about this bike rack is it might cover up the number plate. So we might need to get a wee adapter so we can hang the number plate as well. And now let's just jump back in the van because there's a boat coming. What's wrong? What can you see? Yeah. See the van's good for her because that's a nice wee safe space for her. She knows she'll be good there. That's what she used to do in the bike basket as well. She was always happy in there. Unless she couldn't see me. What's happening? And the thing is, we've just started travelling again as well, so there'll be a lot of stuff that Nala's not really used to anymore or forgotten about. Boats being one of them. So it'll just take a wee while just getting our 100% with stuff back on the road travelling, eh? Because you've been living in the house for a few months, so you've turned into a house cat. Yes, you have. Anyway, here's the boat coming here. Elizabeth. There we go, I wonder what that's carrying on it. But you see they live on the boat as well, and they've got a wee car on the back. And then when they get to a dock, we just lift their car off and then do that thing. So that's our job as well. We've got another big one coming up this way. You coming out? Come on, chase some mice. Anyway, back to this. Let's get this bike off and see if this is any good. I look where the wee brackets have been pressing against the steel. So that's obviously just been pushed in and the water's just been coming straight in there. Cover up here. Soaked. Soaked. I'm hoping they've not been damaged too much. Hopefully we'll just go back to the shape and we've not got a constant leak there now. But um, everywhere else is pretty dry. Apart from that bit and that bit. Anyway, let's get this one off and changed over. There we go, and then this thing. Open it. Over the ball. And then push that down. I think. I mean, that is absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere. The one problem is you can't get into there, but you know, it's going to be really easy just to take off anyway. So if we did need to get in there in an emergency, that's basically it off. So yeah, I do quite like that design, uh, but once the bike's on there, we're going to have to get an adapter to go over to hold the number plate, because that's just going to be total covered. Um, anyway, we'll put the bike on just now and see what it looks like. Nope, I don't like it. Everything's wrong with it. Uh, number plate's hidden, lights are hidden. So, we we'll have to go back to the drawing board. We could get the next one up to that. I mean, that was 80 euros, and I think the next one up's about 500 euros. And that basically connects into your lights as well. So you get all the indicators, and it's got a place for your number plate. That's a ridiculous price to pay for that. So I'm kind of thinking if there's anywhere else I could put my bike, maybe strap it to the front or strap it to the roof, carry it inside. Anyway, that's where we're at with that. We're going to have to take that rack back. But aye, that's just no use. Look at it. No, just that. If I drive close to anyone on the pavement, I'll just swipe them out because the wheel's hanging right over the edge. Now it's down here. She was like, it looked like she was hunting a mouse a minute ago. Anyway, we're going to have to go back to the drawing with that, so I'm going to take that off now and I'll see you when we're back in the van. Look at this. I think she's just caught him out. Hey, hey, leave it. Leave it. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Look, he's trying to bury away from you. Hey, yeah, let him go. Let him go. There you go, man. And there you go. Leave him. 
Leave. Good girl. Good catch. Come on in. Come over here. Leave him go. Go on. Find more mice. I've not got him. I've not got him. I think I've got the mouse now. Chasing me. <laughs> I'm telling you this now. This is a cold one tonight. It's only five o'clock. And... Now as we lead, it's starting to freeze over It is absolutely cold But I've got my new hat on, oh hold on I've got one under there Then I've got this one on top Just for extra warmth We've also got a pair of gloves Down at Decathlon And we've got some just We've got some warm socks as well Um, That's another thing we've got Just carry straps as well That was just to strap the new tarpaulin over the bike when I'm driving Bye this didn't really work guys, so it's back to the drawing board with that. What I was thinking just now is I might just put the other one on and then you know you can get some really strong tape. And I know this probably isn't the best for the paintwork, but then just tape along the top. Um, so that would just seal the whole top edge off because there's no leaks coming in anywhere else. So I think that is one of my possibilities I might do, but I'm going to think about it tonight. Anyway guys, we're going to end this one here. I am going to make some soup and then I'm going to jump into bed to get a nice early night. And we'll see you all in the morning. Sit your bum down. Sit your bum. Yes, give me a cuddle. Oh, I've got to keep you warm. Good morning, guys. Well, last night I actually had a brilliant sleep. I was nice and warm. But this morning, when we have woke up, we've not even been outside yet. But Nala's water has frozen inside the van. She was playing with that this morning, the ice. Which she does. Hi. Oh, where'd I go? Oh, get up a bit. What's that? Attack the ice, attack the ice. Anyway, the ice was frozen inside the van. Every single window has got a layer of ice on it. And I've not been outside yet, but I think it's going to be a cold one. Oh, I absolutely freezing. Absolutely baltic. Oh, I look, we're not coming out today. She's just thinking Dad closed the door. But I look at the car. I mean, will this even start? Will you even start? Oh, there's my shorts from last night when I went swimming. Frozen stiff. I'm going to be wearing new ones today. Oh, you're out. Hello. Hello. You are me hunting? Oh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get everything tidied away inside and then we're going to sit and make a plan because it's meant to get colder over the next few days. So I, I want to kind of be near a town just in case we have any problems with this. Um, I don't want to be stuck out in the countryside. So I'll see you all in a few minutes. I stupidly left the uh, bike rack off the back as well, so that's going to be absolutely freezing putting that back on. Don't even know why I'm doing this. I should probably check it starts first. I guess down here the boy must be finishing work. He was getting his car dropped off. Wonder if he'll just pick up my van and just take me to a warmer country. Be cool, that could be an idea actually. Right, guys, good news Nessie started first time, and um, so it took us a wee while to get everything cleaned up. And um, we've got all the ice off all the windows inside and outside, and I just tidied up a wee bit. Now that it's sound asleep here, she's been out this morning having a wee run about. But I've put this jumper, I got that yesterday at Decathlon, uh, that's a thermal, I put that down underneath her just to insulate her from the bottom, and then I've got the woolly one on top. But if you put your hand in there. Honestly, she is just so snug, it's unreal. But um, I don't want anyone to ever worry about Nala and the temperature and that because it always makes sure she is good. Anyway, our plans today, oh, I'm not too sure, it's very foggy outside. This doesn't have the best lights in it, so I'm going to stick to the wee quiet roads and I, we're just going to have a wee drive round and see what we can see. But we actually can't see anything because it's foggy. So, um, aye, anyway, let's drive.
best thing for us to do today would be just to put a post up on Instagram and see if there are any followers or nearby who want to hang out and meet Nala because the visibility is just absolutely crap. I can barely see a thing behind me and aye, it's a cold day so hopefully we get invited in and just get a nice warm coffee. So I think that's what we're going to do today Nala. She's sound asleep next to me but um, aye, let's get that sorted out. Honestly, when I'm driving these roads, I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I just kind of take a guess. Probably going down one-way streets and everything. But it's all part of experience and there's so many road markings and different kind of roads that I've never seen before. So I just take a lucky guess. If there's cars pointing this way on the road, I go down it. He's afraid of almost nothing. Mm. It's, it's, uh, yeah. And this, the, the can be. She loves Swiss cheese. Does she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tried to cut it. Hey. I do. Wow. Right, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. Right, guys. We totally landed on our feet tonight. Um, I put up on Instagram a story, seeing if there was any followers nearby that wanted to spend the day with us and lo and behold there was one just about 20 kilometres away so we came here, um, her and her husband did not want to be on camera, she just had an operation but I, it was an absolute brilliant day, we had dinner with them, we sat and watched the football apart from Netherlands being knocked out of the World Cup, they weren't too happy oh, come on, lie down, please, thank you no. mm. And they've also got a wee outhouse as well, so we've got to come and spend the night in here. So we're going to get an early night now, and fingers crossed the fog has lifted tomorrow so we can continue driving, because my van just does not have good lights for it. So uh, it looks like Nala's ready to go to sleep, so we will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. So this is our wee house we got last night. Let me give you a wee tour. Through here we have a wee kitchen and just a wee chill out area, absolutely beautiful. We've got a wee farm over here, it's got some horses on it. We have a shower and toilet in there, beautiful. And then up the top there, if you go up these steps there, we've got a wee loft bed, that's where we were sleeping. And here's the girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for your breakfast? Are you waiting for breakfast? It's now nine o'clock, which is quite late for Nala's breakfast, isn't it? But when I was up there sleeping, it was totally blacked out. So, I mean, I normally wake up with the daylight coming through. And yeah, that's me just up just now. So it's quite a lie-in for me, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. What's this? Big favour. Big favour. Big favour. I was worried Nala was going to lean on this big glass last night and topple it off. I was just waiting for here at one point. Anyway, we're going to go over and say good morning to the guys. Um, get Nala some breakfast and let Nala see her wee boyfriend as well. She got wee boyfriend last night, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Normally she's not very good at playing with cats. They seem to always fight. But this one last night, they got on brilliant and they were just running about the house playing with each other all the time. Yeah, going upstairs and turning off the lights. Yes. Whoa. Anyway, let's go and say good morning. Let's see how cold it is. Wait, that was cold in there last night. Hey, there we go. How's 
How beautiful is this wee area? In the summer you've got the wee corrals coming around here. He's also got a boat just over there as well. I bet it's beautiful in springtime. I mean it's beautiful today, it's nice and fresh. But it's cold. Visibility is not very good and the roads have all frosted over. And over the next few days it's to get colder as well, it's to get down to minus seven. They were saying last night. You got me? It's okay. Good morning. Hey, let me take off your lead. You think it's summer? It is summer, is it not? How are you? Anderson. All good? Yeah, thanks. Hey, come here before you get me Just targeted. Just to wait. Yeah, it's super good. It's better than 100% serious. Oh? Yeah. Okay. That's what they say. Hey. Where are we going then? Yeah, they catch the German, huh? He is already standing in front of the door and he's now like... Is he showing? Ah, uh, showing off. I'll go out if Nala leaves. Ah, he'll relax to go out. Yeah. Are you coming? Come on. 